Recently, I shared how to crochet a pouch with a liner and zipper, and today I wanna to show you an optional way that you can attach that liner to the zipper. The benefit to this method is that it eliminates the appearance of a seam on the inside. So if you're sewing this by hand and not confident with your sewing skills, then this might be the method for you. Now this version is a little bit more fiddly to do than the first one that I showed you, but I do have some tips that will help make it super easy. If you missed the first video, you can find a link to it at the end of the video as well as in the description box below this video. There you'll find everything you need to know step by step to make this pouch, including measurements and supplies. This is just a companion video to demonstrate the optional way you can add the zipper to the liner. So first we need to cut our fabric for our liner. Grab your fabric and fold the two sides together so you can cut them at the same time. Place your pouch about a quarter of an inch above the fold. This way you can save having to join one of the sides. Now cut around the rest of your pouch approximately a quarter of an inch on the remaining three sides. This is going to give you plenty of seam allowance to glue or sew your pieces together. At this point, I like to run a quick iron over everything just to remove all the creases before I start attaching everything together. And now we're ready to attach our zipper to our liner. Place your zipper face down so the back of it is facing you. Next, take your fabric and place it on top of the zipper with the back of the fabric facing you as well. You want the pretty side away from you. You want to take it and line it with the top edge of your zipper. This is where we're going to be attaching. Your goal here is to attach the fabric to your zipper as close to the edge as possible. I'd recommend about an eighth of an inch below that edge. This is because you don't want to get too close to the zipper teeth, otherwise the fabric will get caught when you zip or unzip. Now if you're using glue, this is pretty easy to eyeball. Just run a bead of glue about an eighth of an inch below the edge, right between the beginning and end of the zipper. Use those areas as your guide. Press your fabric firmly along this edge and allow to dry for 15 to 20 minutes. If you're sewing, I'd recommend using a pencil line. This helps a lot here to stay on track. Again, you want to sew about an eighth of an inch below the top edge of the zipper fabric and stay in line with where the zipper itself begins and ends. I like to add pins here as well to hold everything in place and use them as a guide. If you don't have pins or you have little ones around, you can get fabric clips and paper clips work really well too. For hand sewing, I like to do a back stitch for the zipper attachment. This will really give a secure hold, but a running stitch is a good option as well if you work the stitches small and close together. I go into more detail about this in the first video. To attach the other side of the zipper, flip everything over so that the front of the zipper is facing you. Now take the zipper and fold it back over so it's facing away from you, but the fabric is still in the same position. Take your fabric again and line it up with the top edge of the zipper and repeat the same process as before with your gluing or your stitching. And now we're just going to join the sides like we did in the original tutorial. If you're gluing, add a bead of glue as close as you can to the beginning of the zipper, making sure not to get any glue on the zipper itself. Then run your glue down the side in line with the zipper. Repeat on the other side and leave to dry for 15 to 20 minutes. And then after it's dry, you can double check that the corners are secure. You might need to add a little bit more glue. To sew the sides together, a pencil line helps a lot to keep things straight. For the side seams, I do like to do a running stitch. I find it's a good hold and a lot faster to do than the back stitch. You want to create that very first stitch as close as possible to the beginning of the zipper and then sew your side together, making sure to stay in line with the zipper. And that's all there is to it. Now just add your liner to your pouch, your project, and you're all set. 
And as you can see, there aren't any stitches on the inside and it zips and unzips smoothly. By the way, if you like the look of this sunflower square, I do have a tutorial on how to make it that you can see here. I use the same join as you go technique to create the pouch and you can see how to do that in the first video. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video.